So I just wanted to do a quick video to address some questions I've been getting about the latest Tonex update that dropped yesterday, which is software version 1.8. And if you haven't already heard, it's this great new Tonex update that adds in these effects. We have now modulation effects, delay, and a new reverb algorithm. So very cool stuff, but some folks are having a hard time doing the update. So I wanna take you step-by-step step through what you need to be sure you're doing and what to look for. And one other problem that folks are saying is that they're creating a preset within Tonex software, but it's not transferring to the pedal properly. So these are just some of the issues that I've been asked about over the last day. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure you go over to the IK site, go up to the support tab here, and you're going to see here that we can access IK Product Manager. You're going to want to download IK Product Manager either for Windows or Mac OS, depending on what you're on. Install that on your computer. And once you get that up and running, you're going to see all your listed products here. And it will give you the option of installing, or if we already have an installed version of a piece of software, give us the option to update it. So we want to go there and update our Tonex software, first of all. Now, once we've done that and we're back in Tonex, we want to go up to our little top right hamburger button here. We can go over to the Info tab, and this is going to tell us what version we're on. So you might want to go and check out here. As of this video filming, we're on version 1.8.0 and then we have this 24K13. This is the latest version as of this particular point when I'm making the video. So once we have that there, what it's gonna allow us to do that is we can go over to Librarian tab. Now I don't have a Tonex pedal hooked up right now, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna plug my Tonex pedal in so that we can now do the next step. So we have software version 1.8. Now I've connected my pedal via USB and what you'll see is immediately Tonex is going to pop up this firmware update needed. So in order to use this device with Tonex software, a firmware update is needed. Now keep in mind, the software version 1.8 is not what we're going to have on our pedal. That's the software version. We are going to go with a firmware version. You can see here that I am on an older version, 1.3.14, but the latest version is 1.5.11. So I'm gonna hit update firmware. We're gonna watch this happen in real time and see just how quick and easy a process it is. And that was it. It probably took less than a minute. And you'll notice now that it says I am on the latest firmware version. So at the time of this filming, that firmware version is 1.5.11. So that's done. I can close that. It's syncing the pedal to the software now. And once it's done that, I should see a list of all the tone models that are on my Tonex pedal. So once that is done, you'll then see that it shows me that I'm on firmware 1.5.11. And as I said before, we can go up to our info tab here inside Tonex software and see that we're on version 1.8.0. And that is updated now. Now, what some folks have done is they've gone to their software and I'm just using a tone model here from one of my tone partner collections. This is the Brit 45 Green Ultimate. My Mark Marshall Studio JTM captured through a Celestian Greenback loaded cabinet. Really beautiful sounding amp and speaker combination. And now I have a guitar in my hands here. And you can hear this tone model really without any effects. This is just the raw tone model. <laughs> the bridge pickup on my Gibson Les Paul Standard 60. So let's say I want to add some of the new effects to it. I, I turn on a noise gate, right? And I just bring that up if I so desire. I'm going to bring a uh, post compressor in here. Just maybe get it to kiss the tone. I'll go with a faster attack, bring the volume up a bit to get a little more. Great. Let's go in with some reverb and I'll go to spring four here. Bring time down. And let's say I also wanted to add a little bit of tape delay here. Uh, set it to sync so it goes to a quarter note. And let's try this. So 
let's say that I'm happy with that. We're listening to the software right now. So a lot of folks will then come over to the librarian tab and they'll grab this here set to tone model and they'll drag it up to the pedal. So let's do this and I drag that in here. And now that I've moved that up to my pedal, I come over to my pedal to listen to what I've put on there. <laughs> and we don't have any effects. And I'm hearing a lot of folks say this. Well, what happened here is that we missed a couple really important steps. Come back over to the Home tab here. I have my Tonex software tone that I created with my compressor and delay and reverb and whatnot. What I need to do is save this as a preset first. So I can just say JTM 45 delay verb just for lack of a better name for it i won't even bother with anything else just to get a, a preset going here so now i come over to my preset tab here instead of tone model you see that i have this preset i just made <laughs> And now that preset has all of this saved inside of it, the delay settings, reverb and whatnot. So now I go back to librarian. We have to make sure that we are set in the right tab here. If I'm set to tone model, I'm just going to transfer the raw tone model up to tone X pedal. And that's just not going to work properly. So it's going to give us the raw tone model without any of the effects that we tweaked. So if I go to the preset tab, search for the preset I made. Now I can bring this up here as such and have all of the effects baked into a preset, which I transfer to the pedal. Now, if we come back to our pedal tones, that original tone model only that I set on it doesn't have the effects. But if I come over to the pedal and select this new preset that I have with all of the sweeteners I put on, so you can see here, nothing. Here we have everything we edited. So we need to save it as a preset first. Any of the tweaks we made, go to the librarian tab, go to the preset tab, search for that preset, and then load that onto the pedal and you should be up and running. So those are just a couple of the questions I had since yesterday's drop of the new software and firmware. I hope that those are helpful tips for some folks to get them up and running even faster. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm gonna leave you with a demo video for one of my latest tone model collections, which is the Filmo 25 Ultimate. It's a set of tone models based off my incredible Boogie Fillmore 25 amp. Really loving these tones. If you're so inclined, you want to grab a copy, they're available at the link below. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Thanks again so much for sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think will get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thanks again for tuning in. Ciao for now.